Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I'm going to tell you something, friends. You cannot turn on Al Jazeera without seeing the tragedies of things that are happening uh, in Gaza on a daily basis there. The Al Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunus, I think it was the last operating hospital. We know the reports that came out just the other day. Israeli forces stormed into this hospital there ordering everyone to leave the hospital. Those that were in critical condition on life support, oxygen, you name it, it was over. And I think some six people died just from that alone. And the, the, these images just never seem, seem to stop. There has been over 11,000 children that have been killed in the Gaza Strip so far by the different attacks that uh, with all the bombing campaigns and military actions that Israel has been taking uh, ever since they have vowed, that is uh, Netanyahu has vowed that Hamas would be brought to justice and that they would not stop until they have totally obliterated Hamas completely and wiped them out of Gaza. But in the meantime, every innocent person in between Hamas and Israel has died as well as a result, including over 11,000 children, not to mention more than eight or 9,000 or so missing, buried beneath the rubble that have been there for months, and no one knows where they are or what's going on. So this is a continual daily thing since October the 7th. Well, well over 100 days of war fighting gone on already, almost 130 days or so. I forget exactly how many days. I mean, just count it up, October the 7th. So we have November, uh, December, January, now into February, four, you know, uh, already looking at four months of fighting and no let up, no humanitarian aid coming in. It is the worst tragedy, the worst humanitarian tragedy that has ever been done in the entire world. And yet no one dares even challenge Israel. Uh, no one even steps in. No one cares about the Palestinians that are dying there. It just becomes normal. And the world goes and forgets as time moves on. You know, I was looking at this and I said to you, I wanted to look at this from a biblical perspective. And oddly enough, there is one scripture that, that I came across that has really brought a new perspective to me. And I'm going to read it to you from the Hebrew Matthew in just a moment. But first, I want to read to you from uh, the, the King James Version, Matthew chapter 10, uh, verse 25, 26, and 27. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master uh, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, which is the prince of the devils, that is, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak you in the light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach you upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Now, in the Hebrew Matthew, it brings it a little bit more to light, if you ask me, especially verse 26. I'm going to back up to verse 25 or 24. No disciple is greater than his teacher, nor is a servant greater than his master. It is sufficient for the disciple to be like his teacher and for the servant to be like his master. If they call the master of the house Beelzebub, which is what they call Jesus, so much the more the sons of his house. Do not fear them, because there is nothing which will not be seen. Notice that. There is nothing which will not be seen, nor hidden which will not be made known. The very Hebrew word over there in the Hebrew language that was used here is right there, Yahweh, 
which is seen. And what I find fascinating is that we may not even think, even though we know this is prophetic in the very words that Jesus is speaking here, clearly it is maybe even more prophetic than what we realize when we look at it from the Hebrew because he says, do not fear them. Fear who? Fear the Jews. Wow. That's pretty blunt, Steve. The Pharisees of his day. He says, do not fear them because there is nothing which will not be seen. Nor hidden which will not be made known. So let me take you back again for a moment and let's take a look at these things here and see. Even like, for example, over here on uh, iConnectFX.com, Elizabeth uh, uh, puts out a lot of information on her channel called, uh, let's see, I think it's Faith and Faith, if I'm not mistaken, is the name of her channel. Uh, oh, goodness. Well, I used to see it right here when I popped open the video there. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to it in there for you there. You know, she is constantly doing very deep work, very deep analysis of all the things that go on, the, the unbelievable atrocities that the Israelis are doing, whether it be the prisoners that they take, the humiliation, those that die at their hands, the executions that are done. She does a very good job of compiling these types of atrocities that go on on, on a regular basis. Uh, is something very interesting. But even like I showed you here, at this point now, since October the 7th, you cannot turn on Al Jazeera and have it playing without seeing the constant atrocities that the Israelis have done against the people there inside of Gaza. Uh, the, the constant killings, the constant massacre, the children that are dying by the thousands and hundreds in some cases a hundred and one day that will have died and the humanitarian aid that never makes it through very little bit and then recently i was looking at something i turned it on and the israelis had taken bulldozers and heaped up dirt in front of the the trucks that were trying to get in and heaped it up in behind them and even here you see it right here trying to get in humanitarian aid can't get it in starving the people to death you know what's interesting like i said though you know i mean and here we are now of course we know the scripture is talking about christians when jesus talks about this he said if they you know we go back and we read it again if they call the master of the house because above so much more the sons of his house but there are christians in gaza not everybody is muslim but the thing is, is he just simply says, if they call the master of the house Beelzebub a devil, then they call the sons. And this is really what it is. They lump everybody together. If the Pharisees call Jesus a devil, or if they call the Palestinian a devil, or Hamas the devil, then everybody is the devil. They're all, that's what's so fascinating about how this goes. They all get lumped in together. Every time. I mean, it's, it's insane what I'm looking at here. Then we read on, though. Watch what else he says, right? Do not fear them, because there is nothing which will not be seen, nor hidden which will not be made known. And it's being made known. And it's being seen on television sets all across the world. I bet no one ever thought that that would be that type of prophecy fulfilling. That which I say to you in darkness, say it in the light. That which you hear by the ear, tell in the gate. Do not fear those who kill bodies, who have no power to kill souls. They're killing a lot of bodies. A lot of human beings are dying at their hands. He said, don't fear them, though. Even though they can do all that, you don't have to fear any of that. I want to play for you as well. Elizabeth actually sent me a link to this guy's video here just to show you. This is a Palestinian young man living in America, uh, that is, uh, Hamza Sa Saada, and he's interviewing Israelis. Watch, just to give you an example of Israeli response to the war in Gaza, watch 
what is said here. Hi. Oh, you're the one that with the free palisade. What do you think about Israel bombing Gaza and killing all the civilians? I don't think nothing. I think they should have it. I think that huh? they... What? You said you think they should be bombed? Yeah. The, the innocent lives. Are the kids being bombed in Gaza? Is that okay? Yeah. The kid... I, I, maybe you didn't hear me. I'll ask you again. Are the, the kids... Kid, yeah, you know why? Ooh. Okay, yalla, bye. Can you imagine that? The kids. Yeah, that's what she says. Yeah. She's going to say why, but she never goes into it, just hangs up. I, I, I mean, and if you listen to some of the interviews that he does, it's over and over and over the same way. There's no empathy whatsoever for those children that are dying there. You know, I want to share something with you. I found this in one of these uh, writings that I look at. And again, I do want to remind people, when I study other writings, that's part when the Noon Institute of Biblical Research is a research institute. We research ancient documents. It doesn't mean that we endorse all the documents that we research by no means, but we research. We're always cross-referencing, looking at different angles, what's out there, what could be said. How do we look at that in light of biblical prophecy that's there, right? That's the things that I want you to be aware of. And there was one particular one that was just fascinating to me that I just came across just recently. And it says here, the ruler of the world will stand using my name. This is Jesus supposedly speaking in this uh, writing here. Using my name in such a way. And generations of those with faith and piety stand loyally by him. Somebody using the name of Jesus Christ, but won't be a good person. Yet after him, another man will stand before you from the fornicators, another from child slayers, and another from those who sleep with men. So you got fornicators, child murderers and men sleeping with men from those who keep the fast and from all others those who keep the fast Jewish and from all the others from among the people of pollution lawlessness and error some say we are like angels they are stars bringing an end to all is what he says and to this generation, human beings, it is announced, look, now God has received your sacrifice from a priest's hands. That's because they're going to reinstitute sacrifices again. But he says here, meaning a minister of error. Wow. You know, that goes right in hand in hand with what I told you before. That if Jesus says that they were a family of vipers, serpents and he even said that the temple would be destroyed and everything they'd be dispersed because of all their lies that they brought into the world and yet people just put Israel right up on a pedestal if anything take them the gospel of Jesus Christ that is what Israel has need of Jesus says, by their fruits you shall know them. And when they're murdering children and women and all in the name of, of Hamas, what they did on October the 7th and didn't go and target Hamas instead, they target everybody in between. Let me prove to you a, a very interesting point. And like I said, they mentioned three things there. One said to be from the fornicators. Another one's going to rise up from the fornicators. And then it also said, and a child slayer among them will come up. And of course, those that sleep men with men, right? Let me show you something here. Just in light of that itself. Here you go, right here. AP News article. This was back in, I think, uh, 29, well, the article I think is in 2019. But they're going to talk about Netanyahu in uh, 20, oh, or 2009, I believe it is, um, where he admits to having an extramarital affair uh, with someone else other than his wife. 
Um, yeah, here we go. Circulated that a videotape existed depicting Netanyahu, his image consultant, married a woman named Ruth Barr in a compromising romantic situation. As a response, Netanyahu went on television and confessed to adultery, even though the tape never turned up. Hmm. There you go. From fornicators, right? Ben Gavir, talk about child child killers, child slayers, right? Here we go. This one on uh, the Middle East. Israel's National Security Minister Itmar ben Gavir, who is part of Netanyahu's coalition, reportedly demanded that the army shoot Palestinian women and children in the Gaza Strip to protect the Israeli forces. Not even to mention 11,000 plus killed from the bombings. I mean, how could you sleep at night flying those planes, drones, planes, whatever you want to call it. How could you sleep at night? And then, of course, what do we have? The Times of Israel here, 2022. Uh, Likud's Amir Ohana becomes Israel's first openly gay Knesset speaker. Hmm. All three of those got fulfilled right there. So think about it. As you look at these things, think about it. Uh, it's the, the atrocities just never end. And when will anyone stand up and say the truth? You want to help Israel. You got to get them to open their eyes to the crimes that they're doing, the evils that they're doing. So they can repent and find Jesus Christ because there is not going to be anything else that will take these crimes off them except that they truly repent and recognize that Jesus Christ is the only way. That's why he says, he goes into all that, right? But then he says, fear not those that can kill the body, but fear the one who has power to destroy the soul and the body in Gehenna. Hmm. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin and not one of them will fall to the earth except by the will of your Father who is in heaven. And not the hairs of your head numbered. Do not for fear because you are better than the sparrows. He who praises me before men, I will praise before my Father who is in heaven. You know, and the same thing, if you look at it in the King James, fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear... Him which has able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall to the ground without your father. Not, you know, without him knowing about it. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So the thing is, even though the sparrow may not seem like nothing, if the sparrow is, is just a little bitty creature and he can't fall to the ground without God knowing about it, do you think all these Palestinian children that are dying... You don't think that God doesn't know about them? That's what he's bringing out to you. So you want to do something for the Jewish people? Pray that God will wake them up because the thing is right now they're on a road that is not very good. They're on a road of destruction right now. And that destruction is leading to a very bad end. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget, those of you that want to join us tonight on our Zoom call on LifeWave, you can do so. We now have it as a website you can click on to, www.x39hub.com. You can come join us. It is absolutely amazing what this product does. The people that are being helped, unbelievable. Come join us tonight. You can learn more about the products uh, we got a special guest, Ashley, uh, coming on tonight, uh, speaking about the amazing testimonies that she has witnessed firsthand herself. And uh, also, too, over on our Patreon channel, another beautiful testimony that we shared with, share with you there. God bless you, and thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.